Hello and welcome along to building a one-page website in Adobe Muse with your host Robert Smith. In this part four we're going to start to add some actual content to our page but before we do that let's make sure we've got everything set up correctly. First of all let's go to our plan view like this and double click on our master page that's where everything resides at the moment they're all on the master page. What I want to do while I'm here I want to copy this um, rectangle so command C or Apple C to copy that and then I want to look at my layer structure if you look out here I've only got one layer so I'm going to double click on that and call it master page and OK and I'm going to lock that because I don't want to put anything um, on that master page anymore so I'm going to add a layer here layer 2 and we'll call this content and OK we'll grab that content layer and drag it underneath there like that and let's make sure we're working on that content layer by closing our layer like that and let's go back now to our plan view and double click on our actual page there it is there Apple minus to fit it in properly okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to Apple V to paste that rectangle we copied off the master page and place it now I'm going to change it a little bit we're going to actually take the stroke off it by clicking up here and having stroke none and we'll also take the pin off it we we want this to scroll normally we don't want it to stay where it is so if I select it up here you'll notice because I copied it off the master page and it was pinned it still has the pin attached so I'll just unpin it up here by clicking on that little square like that okay let's add some text to these are going to be section headers so if I go to my type tool over here and just drag it out like that and the first one I'm going to have is digital video so I'll type in um, hyphen hyphen space hyphen space and then digital video then uh, um, hyphen space hyphen space hyphen like that uh, I always press the wrong one make that hyphen hyphen space hyphen space like that okay now I'm going to select that font like this I'm going to change it to 24 point I'm going to change the font to Acme the same as before and I'm going to change the color from black to white by clicking up there okay and now I want to transform that I want to put that right in the center by going back to my um, pointer tool make sure that's still selected and up here you'll see a text pop out and that's where I'm going to grab the centering so it centers like that very nice indeed okay there's my first one I'm going to drag that up there because we have the smart guides putting it right in the center for us that's exactly what we want in fact that that square that rectangles a little bit too big so I'll just make it a little bit smaller and I'll just nudge using the arrow keys nudge that into the center looking good Apple minus out so we can have a close look at it is it in the right spot no it's not it should be there that's more like it okay fabulous so let's copy that so I'm going to select that and hold the shift key down and select that and I'm just going to hold the option key down and drag and copy like I normally would and let's go in there zoom in a bit and select the digital video part here and type in typography um, like that very nice okay the same thing again select that select that with the shift key down hold the option key down and drag down the next one is going to be branding so I'll select this call that branding like that and do the same thing again select with the shift key down hold the option and drag like that the next one is going to be about now it doesn't matter if these are not in the same order as the menu across the top because it'll give us much more dramatic scrolling which is what we want so I'm going to select that shift key down same thing again drag down and this time contact where we'll put an email address later on okay great Let's zoom out Apple minus and have a look what we've got so far 
great. Let's preview that in the browser and see what it looks like. Shift Command E will do that. Fantastic. Now you can see it's starting to scroll, then it will scroll underneath the pinned header, which is exactly what we want. Great. So I'll just close that. And I'll grab all, all of these by just dragging a marquee over the top using the pointer tool. And I'll just drag them all down here. Just get them out of the way. We'll be using those later. And I'll grab my digital video and I'll drag that into place up to about there is where I want it. I'll just zoom out again so I can see exactly where it is. That's what I want. Fantastic. Okay, so let's get some digital video to put in here. Now, there's a number of ways of hosting digital video, but the best way to do it is to create your own YouTube channel, upload your video to YouTube, and let them do all the worrying about um, what sort of codecs you use, and which is quite a technical thing. So let me just show you how to do it. It's really simple. If I just, uh, I'll just command tab across to Chrome, and I should have a, uh, great. This is what I want. I want to put this uh, a link to this on my site. Now to do that, I go down to here, click on share like that, and embed. Now this is the embed code that YouTube provides for you. Oops, I'll just uh, grab this, and I'll change these numbers here, the height and width number. In the width, I'm going to type in 960. You can type in whatever you like, but I find these quite useful numbers. 960 by 540, like that. Then select it by double-clicking and Command-C to copy. And let's go back to Muse and Apple V to paste. Okay, there it is. Looking really good. So let's have a look at that and see what it looks like in a browser. Shift Command E to do that. Fantastic, our site's starting to look come together. As you can see, it scrolls underneath, and we're going to add some more content later. And if you want to play this video, we simply click on here, and depending on what sort of connection you've got, there it is. Okay, so what have we done? We've uh, added some content, put some um, some content, I should say, and also we put in some headers for the rest of the content. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.